to school. You know what I'm saying? Like to be doctors and do homework. And I'm like, y'all are the people that need to be celebrated. Absolutely. They don't talk about this. Like if I had known that these principles existed, then I might have stayed in school. You know, but I would have learned different things. I just didn't like what, you know, I think it's about language. You know, it's about, we speak a different language culturally because we have a different experience. And Principal Ock just speaks that language thoroughly. He'll speak it to you in sports, he'll speak it to you in video games, he'll speak it to you in cars. And now we came together, paused, and he said, yo, I'm gonna do a label. And I was like, why well, didn't do it? But you know, because I'm, you know, it's not me. But he was like, all right. So I went, put the structure together, so I can distribute like the big boys. And I want to say another thing. Um, Just real quick, I'm pissed off, right? Because my technology for Game Dash Studio does, isn't working the way I want. It's not evolving. The things that I was told it was gonna do, it wouldn't do. And now these people weren't calling me back. And now I'm like, forget it. I'm because I, I started building a new one anyway. So I'm shutting Game Dash Studio down for three months to build it, you know, and they, they, you know, it's always people that are so disrespectful to our culture because they can't exploit it and then want to talk cute and try to trigger you, you know? But yeah. when, you're, when you're a boss, you can just pull the plug. I'm not taking right. this disrespect. You're not gonna mess up my business. And I already started building another and it'll be better, so I'll be back in three months, period. But until then, you can see everything on Fox Soul. So it's all good, I'm not mad. It's a great time to pull the plug on somebody that's trying to control. And I'm saying that that's what I and the OSG and everyone does. We have the power to just, he could walk away from being a principal right now. He got enough bread, he's doing enough things. He's choosing to help these kids. Yo, I'm here. I ain't freeze. Oh no, oh no, he froze. Hmm. I don't know if he can hear us. I can hear you. Yeah, these twins are like, <laughs> yo, y'all both, yo, hold on, y'all both said there he is at the same time. Do y'all do that all the time? Where y'all at, y'all? Where y'all at? Both. Y'all do the TV show immediately. Yeah. Well, well, are, are you you're in Jersey around? I? Can y'all do me a favor and go into? Can you do me a favor and go into Dang Dad Studios in 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 Jersey and in school and shoot an episode? Can y'all do that? In, interview. Do me a favor. I in, saw episode two. Do, you guys have one and two out, right? Of what? Episode one and two of what? Why is my Wi-Fi? How can it can be your Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi. We all. <laughs> I can see y'all perfectly too. Y'all machines is messed up. <laughs> I'll take the blame for that. I'm not. Y'all not frozen to me. Y'all frozen. Y'all 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 um, computers are frozen. Not mine. I can see everything. Y'all <laughs> Wi-Fi is terrible. Y'all gotta get y'all Wi-Fi. Look at that, that, that Jersey Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Nah, look. Can, can, what I was saying is, can y'all go? Are you allowed? Can they do that? Can they interview with the Dame Dash Studio? Now he's frozen. Uh, can they do that? Can they interview with the Dame Dash Studio? Now he's frozen. Uh, can like we if we go, to, go to Dame Dash Studios in Jersey and do the interview so we can do a show? Because that looks great. Hell yeah, good. Absolutely. 100%. Yes. But I'm, I'm glad that you're taking a stand when someone isn't treating you right or you're not getting the respect that you deserve. Because that's not going to be good for the future. Like, you're not going to be respected I just go build another one. They don't own nothing. Fuck them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, this shit is broken. It's not making me no money anyway. I'm like, yo, this shit ain't working right. So I'm like, yo, shut that shit down. You didn't do what you said you was going to do. And then get mad at me. You know, disrespect my business and be mad at me because I want to know the explanation and then go missing and all that. I'm not in business with nobody that would ever do that. You know, I would never do that. So, that Sopranos, y'all are right. Because in reality, it's the 
depending on them. So I think it's amazing what you both are doing. And I uh, keep doing it. You started. I keep doing it. Oh, I love them. They got to be on TV. But then you realize, what am I doing being enough for my own kids, right? Because sometimes we tend to get lost in, like, our own job that we forget about home. And I'm glad that you picked up on that, and then you decide to create this family that you both love to give to your son. And now he's the CEO. And then from there, now you have this new focus on the love, volume one. Let me tell you the lesson. Real quick, let me tell you the lesson in that. So... You know, if y'all watch Growing Up Hip Hop, you know, they try to divide us. And, you know, you know, I do the space thing. I'll give you some space. But, you know, watching Ot come through with his son and do business with his son, it was like, yo, this is exactly what I'd be doing with my son, and I'm not doing it right now. And it, it was one of, the, one of the things that made me say, you know, I'm just going to jump on a jet and pull up on him. And that's what I did. And he back, you know, when you see love, you want love. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's the reason why we got to showcase these things. And that's why we have to empower these things. You know what I'm saying? Because it will inspire us to make things that are wrong right, even if we're unconscious of it. So it made, me, it made, me, it made me unconscious of how much I was hurting not doing that with my son. Well, and, 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 and we do it, and that's what we was doing, but we stopped. And I'm like, I'm going to stop that. I'm the one yeah. that said do yeah. that shit and look at it. So yeah. that, that is, I had to lead by example, but he led by example. And in that respect, he helped me. So that's the reason why when you have a circle of superheroes and generals that have we'll armies, help each other out. no matter we'll what, each other out. My mis- I could, I, if I made a mistake that he might not know about, unconsciously, because he's always doing the right thing and everyone around us is, it makes me learn from it. You know, I'm a guy that's doing a lot. And that's what it is. They specifically make sure that I pay attention to everything that, that real wealth is. The love, the family, the future, the education, being tasteful, being consistent. You know what I'm saying? All of it. Exactly. Like, our class hasn't gone on for six months or six weeks. This shit been two years. Every Tuesday we get up. You know what I'm saying? And, and we have things to show for it. We have to report to the bridge for blow up on Tuesday. We have to show what we've done. There's accountability on Tuesdays. You know? And, I'm, and I'm, I, I make a point to show up because I want to be able to tease everybody. Because I want to make sure that they got, because the minute they doing it, then I got to, you know, and I want them to do that. I want to be challenged. And this circle of superheroes challenges me. When you're around around strong people, accountability is important. So if I ask them to do something and there's nothing that comes from it, Dennis will be like, so where the money at? Y'all did all this shit, blah, blah, blah. All that TV dame you talking, we working, woo, woo, woo. If I don't come with the result, I will have to report to the bridge for blow up on Tuesdays and listen to that. And I'd have to wear it because it would be true. You know? So I want to make sure I'm not... It's it's like everyone has an opportunity because they're all principals to be the teacher. So the minute I drop the ball, one... All right, I'm teaching now. I'm taking the class. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I'm all right with it. I have to say that. Watching watching you and watching my part do what you guys are doing... You know, do you ever like look in the mirror and think it's your sister? Never. <laughs> 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 I've seen with 
Fresco, and he was doing with Tulua and, and Ava, and obviously Boogie. And I was like, this is how you guys felt. Like, what am I doing? Because if you went into COVID and you didn't come out better by business or crypto or meta, like, if you ain't come out like smarter than you went in, shame on you. When it came to me letting him introduce him to Dane and his crew, I was like, listen, we all know Dane. But he, uh, he, I'm sure he's going to be on the balance. So I talked to Dame, and Dame said, I right, fly him out here. And the kids, when I'm talking about, they was in Crocs, fresh off the plane, and they thought niggas was going to meet him and see the lay of the land. That wasn't the case. Dame put their ass on the stage the first day with a band that said, look, perform it right now. So when he wow. said boot camp, he literally was calling us like, where y'all at? I'm about to be in the studio. But seven days that man worked those kids, man. And it was like, it was an experience like no other, man. My I get to see, I got to see my son and his friends in, in crisis and see how they reacted. And we came out with and and every fight. everything he said you she was documented and you will be able to see it on Fox Soul, Blue Rock Boot Camp with Principal Ock. And I, we can't wait to see it. I was. Actually, I can't wait till um, it gets edited. I, <laughs> every day people sending it you know get my music on here we try to do our very best but you know how the radio business is it's complicated and it's definitely changed a lot but i have to say some of the songs that stood out to me because it's it's more it's kind of like an eclectic you have all different types uh one two one of my favorites to jam out to apologize apologize has a different like um sound to it uh, more like a rock. Rock. Uh, then you have devil in me which oh, i'm obsessed the lyrics <laughs> And the fact that you guys are out there doing it and showing people, hey, it can be done, it's just mind blowing. And uh, did you have any, um, like, were you involved at all with these songs? Do we need it? And tag Susan. Hoping that it sticks. It doesn't happen that way. So I just want to show them one. This is the college route. This 
got into radio, TV, and then we we left college because I'm like, this isn't getting me really where I'm supposed to go. I'm dropping all this cash that I don't have, and I'm only putting myself in debt and not getting what I need. And so when I saw that video and I'm like, some real talk up in here, like, yes, amen, preach, because, you know, education is important, but not always the college route. There's different avenues that one can take. Well, you know, I thought that was impressive that I, being a principal, was brave enough to just tell the truth and speak it in the language that we can understand culturally. You know, he's not saying don't go to college, but what he's noticing is that a lot of people don't go to college that are successful. You know, now for me, school and the way it's structured, you know, number one, I look at hieroglyphics, I don't see no schools and no hieroglyphics. You know, taking your kid from their parents and having someone they don't know teach them, to me, doesn't seem so good. But when you actually take them, they actually supposed to sit behind a desk for eight hours while the sun is out. And it's in a building that has dim lights, sort of like a jail and a hospital and a courthouse, you know? And you only see your parents when you're tired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. And then, you know, your program to say if you don't go and pay, get debt to go to college, you will not survive in the world. So then you do what you have to do. If you don't go, you feel bad, you go, maybe out of guilt. Because I know my kids, I didn't make them go, but ones that went and going because somebody, one of their parents really wants them to go. I'm like, I got company to run. You can run that. that, let that be your school. So now you go and get all this debt, and to pay the debt off, you now have to settle for a job. Just to pay the debt off for the school, and it's not a job that you went to school to prepare for. So it all seems like a program to control us because it would be logical to have school on beaches and lakes, and it should look like a country club. And that's why I respect it when I said that, you go into a spot, it don't look like a school. You got koi ponds in Newark. You know, we got gardens. It's like, why wouldn't you teach children how to grow? Why wouldn't you teach them how to be entrepreneurial? Why would you offer them a sport but not offer them any of the administrative things that come with the sport, knowing that the sport might not work out or you may get hurt 99 and a half percent of the time? So it all feels like a program that's been accepted to control us and keep us backpedaling, always surviving as opposed to dreaming. And what Ak is doing by living his dream and also showing I can do it their way, but I can do it my way. And I can still love everybody else. And that's what all these principles do. So for me, in order for us to change the program, we gotta work with the program and implement it and show that it works. Cause they may not have, not, you gotta think, laws for America. When America, you know, it's a new country. They sat for hours and days and weeks to put together laws and education and structure, not to last for two weeks, but to last for at least 102 years. Uh -huh. But those laws are all made by people that had slaves or recently had slaves. So these are people that were used to having slaves and was like, yo, how are we going to get slaves? How are we going to get done? It ain't legal no more. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll educate them a certain way, make a program they can't fit in, and the only option they have is to fight each other, hurt each other, and then we can put them back in shackles, put them back in cages, and make them work for slave wages. And it'd be completely legal. They work for us if we keep their mind in a certain place. That's so true. And it's worked. You can't be mad at your oppressor for a good plan. But once, hey, but once you realize what it is, it's your fault for letting yourself be oppressed. At this point, freedom is in your brain and your perspective yes. on things. And slavery is in your brain. And being caged is in your brain. Saying that you have to do things by a certain program, this is not the military. This is life. You know, and it doesn't have to be so much order. You think about it. We're told when to relax. On weekends, we're told you only allowed to relax two days out the, out the week. You told you only allowed to sit with your family on holidays. 
You only, like you're, told, you're told you're only supposed to celebrate an independent country one time the, of the year and then go back to not being independent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, everything you're saying is making uh, sense. But this is what it looks like when like-minded people come together. You don't fight. You know, no. you don't have to kill to eat. You could grow to eat. You feel me? If you want another amazing video with the one and only Dame Dash, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.